consider the complete combustion of dodecane, but now it's not 100% theoretical error, it's 130% theoretical error. See what we've done? You have excess air, 30% excess air. When you have anything but 100% theoretical error and you're asked to do the combustion reaction equation, what you need to do is get to the 100% balanced equation. Write that down. Don't box it. It's not your answer. But you need to get to that step first. And we did that in the previous problem. It was C12H26 plus 37 over 2. O2 plus 3.76 N2s go to 12 CO2s plus 13 H2Os plus 37 over 2 times 3.76 N2s. Leave that equation alone. You've got it 100% theoretical. True? Now you want to modify it. You want to come down with the actual equation. So C12 H26, leave a little room right there, 37 over 2, O2 plus 376N2s. Don't change the carbon because, look, we're not increasing or changing the amount of carbon, are we? We have purpose to leave a 1 there, period. We're playing with the amount of air. We're saying there's now, for the new problem, 130% of the theoretical error. Leave the 12 and the CO2 right there. Likewise, these hard hydrogens, leave the 13 and the H2O there. And leave a little room and a place for the oxygen. And leave a little room, 37 over 2, 3.76N2s. See? So this now is I'm working to get my Balanced reaction equation when I have 130% theoretical error. All right. I want to modify and put a coefficient right there. What coefficient should I put right there so that I have 130% of the theoretical error? 1.3. What do you think? Looking at the left-hand side, do I now have 30% excess error? I have too much, right? And it's all in the right proportion. So that was a big step. Now I look and I say, hmm, is my carbon balanced? It is, don't touch it. Is my hydrogen balanced? It is, don't touch it. Is my oxygen balanced? Fix it. Let's do the oxygen balance, true? So if we do the oxygen balance, what do I need to put right there in front of the O2? 1.3. Thirty-seven over two, or something else. Zero point three. True. Is it zero point three times thirty-seven over two? Times O two. And a lot of students, they'll be like, "Oh, they don't put that. They'll just put point three times O two, or they'll put one point three times." You know, I mean, there's a lot of places you can make an error. But this is correct, is it not? Check your oxygen. Make sure it's balanced. It will be. The last one, what do you need to balance? What do you need to balance next? Nitrogen. nitrogen. Very good. Now, if we balance the nitrogen, what do I put? I, I leave this all like that, right? 1.3. 1.3. Is it now balanced? It is. There's your, that's what you box right there. All right, so that's our balanced reaction equation for 130% theoretical error. What is our new air-to-fuel ratio on a molar basis? Air-to-fuel, num on a molar basis, uh, number of moles of air to the number of moles of fuel. How about 1.3 times 37 over 2 times 4.76 divided by 1? You say, you know what, this looks like 1.3 times the air to fuel from the previous problem when it was stoichiometric, when it was 100% theoretical air. True? And it is exactly that. It's exactly that. And so this is 1.3 times 88.06, which gives us a whopping air to fuel on a molar basis of 114.5.
don't believe four digits, but there you go. And on a mass basis, same type of thing, you'll find that it's 1.3 times air to fuel stoichiometric on a mass basis, which gives us the air to fuel to be 19.5, where before it was 15.0. It was 15.0. Now let's do the dry product analysis. So what we're interested in solving for is what is the Y of CO2? What is the Y of the H2O? No, it's dry. The H2O is gone. We condensed it. We took the products, we condensed it. But we have to find the Y of the O2 and the Y of the N2. The product analysis, after you condense out the H2O, true, is left just carbon dioxide, oxygen, O2, and nitrogen. So this ratio is going to be 12 over 12 plus, well, this is where I wish we would have maybe put these into uh, something else. You know, you can multiply that and just get a number. And then similarly, 1.3. 37 over 2, 3.76. So it's 12 divided by 107.98. That's the denominator. And so Y of CO2 is 11.1%. Y of the O2, 5.1%. And Y of the N2, is 83.7 percent. So let me just show you the equation for the y of the N2. It'll be the number of moles of the N2, which I calculated to be 90.43, divided by the total number 107.98, if you want to reproduce any numbers. And then 5.55 divided by 107.93. But there's your answer for part D.